John from Superbase here. And in this video, we're gonna build upon the Postgres functions example that we covered in a previous video. There's a link in the description if you haven't checked that one out yet. But in this one, we're going to look at enabling the HTTP extension. So this allows us to make a request to any API on the internet. So this could be a serverless function that we've created in our project, or it could be a third party API, such as Stripe to take some payments or maybe Twilio to send an SMS. So the super useful thing that we're going to cover in this example is sending a request to the Kanye Quote API. So this is an API that a very, very important group of people maintain that returns an intellectual masterpiece spoken by Kanye West himself. So let's start by enabling the HTTP extension in our Superbase instance. So that's under database and then extensions. We can then search for HTTP and then click enable. We could now use this Kanye West Quote API uh, to create a function that simulates what a conversation with Kanye might be like, just in case we run into him while we're putting the bins out. So for this example, we're going to use the Superbase dashboard UI for creating Postgres functions. So if you come over to database and then down to functions, something to mention here is that this is an alpha preview. Um, and so this says this is not production ready. That doesn't refer to the Postgres functions themselves. Postgres functions have existed for decades. This just refers to this dashboard UI that we're gonna to use to create our Postgres function. And so I'm going to come up here and create a new function. The name of this one is going to be talk to Kanye. We're going to leave this on our public schema. And then the return type for this is going to be text. And we're going to add one argument for our function, which is going to be the name of the person who is talking to Kanye. And so the data type for this is going to be text. And so here we can add the body of our function. And so we know we're going to need begin and end because we're using PL PGSQL. And so if I want to use the HTTP library to make a request to that API, I can use this code snippet here. This is making a get request to that URL, then selecting the content that comes back from that request, which is a big JSON blob, and then it just cares about the quote field. And so we're going to want to store that quote somewhere so we can kind of build up our conversation with Kanye West. And so we're going to need a variable. So again, we're gonna add declare, and we're going to declare a Kanye quote variable, which is going to be of type text. We can then say we want to select that response into our Kanye quote, and that will allow us to use that value in our return statement. Now, what we essentially want to return from our function is a string that just says, hey, whichever name got passed into our function. So let's say that's Beyonce. And we then want to print out whatever nonsense Kanye is saying. And so we can build up that string using the concat function. So this will take a collection of strings and put them all together. So our first string is going to be hey and then space because um, we want there to be a space before our name. Uh, we then want our name variable. We then want our full stop and then a space. And then we want our Kanye quote. And so now if we get rid of this and click confirm, we've now created our new function called talk to Kanye. And so let's go call that from our SQL editor. So we can say select talk to Kanye and we can pass in John. And when we run that function, we get this wonderful little nugget of knowledge. What's this? Hey John, we will be recognized. Yes, we will Kanye. What else do you have to say? Hey John, my memories are from the future. That's super deep Kanye, but I just, just remembered I forgot something from inside. So I'm gonna have to go. So with Postgres functions, we can write regular SQL. We can introduce some smarts with something like PLPGSQL or any of the other supported programming languages. But now we can also use extensions to basically unlock anything we might wanna be able to do. And again, these functions live in the database itself. So it's super efficient if we wanna use those functions to go and do something and then modify our data. So that's it for this one. If you enjoyed it, give us a like. If you didn't, you can click the dislike button twice so we definitely get the message. And please let us know in the comments if there's any other topics you'd like us to cover in this format. Make sure you check out our Superbase YouTube channel for more awesome content just like this one. Give us a follow on Twitter and join our Discord. We would love to hear from you. Thanks.